how to install iShop e-commerce scripts so let's see some characteristics of this script before we proceed so uh, iShop is a multi vendor e-commerce CMS API is built with Laravel admin panel and the front end is built with NetJS for storing data MySQL is being used the performance of the site is super fast because of the of the advanced caching system it is fully responsive and highly customizable in the regular license admin panel build files will be found that means you won't be able to customize anything of the admin panel front end and API source code will be found in the package program. You can customize the front end and API to your requirements very easily. A new panel source code will be found in the extended license. So let me in installing this script I will use code list to download this script for testing purposes. So let me go to open my new tab i click on code list dot cc then enter then next i click on my search button uh, then I write the name of the script I'm looking for, which is iShop e commerce. Yeah, here is it. Then enter. So I move down. Please use link in the description to purchase script license to go live all this is only meant for testing purposes so i'm just using this for testing purposes if this video was helpful use link in the description to buy me coffee please use link in the description to hire me to help me install the script also Please like, share, and subscribe to the videos. Next, I come to this. I want to download. I click on it. So, I move my. Okay, I slow down. I select any of this link. Let me say I select, let me select this. Then control copy. I open a new tab. Then paste it there. Enter. Please don't forget I'm using. Uh, code is just for testing purposes. So, next, I click on the download. So, after the download, I go to my download. So, here is it. Then I start it by double clicking it. Click on extract to okay. Now it's extracting. So after the extraction has finished extracting, 
Then I open it by double clicking it. I come to this place, I open it by double clicking it. Oh, sorry. So, here are the files that are in my folder. From this folder. So when I double click it, when I open it, these are the folders that are there. So this is one I need. And it's already a zip file, so I don't need to zip or anything again or unzip. So I'll just copy this to my C panel. So next, let me go to my C panel. Move down. I'm going to my file manager. Here is it. Please like, share, and subscribe to my video. And also use link in the description to allow me to help you install the script. Also, if this video was helpful, use link in the description to hire me. Use link in the description to buy me a coffee. Next, I go to my subdomain because I'm using a subdomain. But if I even I'm using a domain, which is a normal domain, then I will go to my folder and my public HTML. But I'm using a subdomain. This is it. I click on it. So, as you can see, I have already uploaded the file that is installed. Yes, this is how I uploaded it after clicking on my subdomain folder. Then I I click on upload. Next, I click on search file. Then I go to my. Here is it. Double click. Now I open it. Then I select this. Then I click on my open. But because I have already uploaded it, I don't need to click on open so I can see it. After that, I go back. I click on go back. Please like, share, and subscribe to the video. After that, I click on this, then extract. Extract files. After that, I check if there is any error. If everything is in order, then I close. I double click to open it. Select all. And then I right click. I click on my move. I want to move it to the root shoulder. Move files. After that, I move one up one level. The folder I started this one, I don't need a this. I don't need this again. I can just delete this. Delete. Confirm. So next, I am done with this part. I'll now go to my database, my database, because I want to create my database. Database is my SQL database. It's, if this video was helpful, use link in the description to buy me coffee. Also use link in the description to hire me to help you install the script.
So next, I'm going to create my database. So let me name my data database as this. I name it as this. Then I create database. I just give you that name. Okay, successful. Then I go. I click on go back. I have created the database. Next, I I add user, new user. Let me say my the name is NGR because I use NGR. Let me say NGR user. Okay. I will make sure I fill in the same password as the again for the password and password again. I make sure that they are the same. Then I create user. I click on my go back again. I have created the database. I have created the user then now i will add the user to the database add the user to the database i will make sure i select the one the user i just created which is this i make sure i select the database i just created which is this then i click on add Give up with legis, then I move down, make changes. So this is successful now. Means I have created the database and I have uploaded the file to the for, to the domain folder. Then next, I'll just go to my site. Which is this? Okay. MGR slash install. Then I click slash install. Enter. So app name, let me say iShop. Let me say iShop. Database name. I'll go back to my database. Okay. The database name. Okay, let me select it because I use the same thing. Yeah. Okay. I select, I copy. Then I paste. But this the database name I didn't put user. Database user. Yes. Password. Okay. This one is at my password for the database, then I click on submit. Okay. I'm in my dashboard already. So, here is it. Let me see. Orders. Okay. Cash on delivery, card payments, all this stuff. So, don't forget before we go, 
if this video was helpful use link in the description to buy me coffee also use link in the description to hire me to help me install the script if you then I am to help you install the script. Also, please don't forget I used code list for testing purposes. Use link in the description to purchase script license to go live. Code list is only meant for testing purposes. And also, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.